37. Which member of each pair of metals is more likely to corrode or more likely to oxidize? So we have our pair of metals here. We have a sample of silver, which is AT, and platinum, which is PT. And we have to see which one is going to corrode or which one is going to oxidize first. We can only do this question if we go in the back of a textbook to find out the half reactions between silver and platinum with their corresponding cell values. So for silver, it has 0.7996 volts and PT has 1.20 volts. We want to know which one is going to corrode and corrosion is always talking about oxidation. So they're kind of synonymous to each other. But the thing is, is that whenever you go in the back of a textbook, those half reactions always have the electrons on the left side. And those half reactions, if the electrons are on the left side, that means that you're gaining electrons. And reduction is always talking about a gain of electrons. But the thing is, I want oxidation. That's what's going to tell me corrosion. But the thing is, is that if we're talking about always reduction on the back of a textbook, that means that the higher the value, the more likely you're going to be undergoing reduction. The substance is going to be undergoing reduction. So vice versa, the lower the value, that's the substance that's going to be going under oxidation or it's going to be corroded. Corrosion. So I just have to compare these E values. Which one is the lower number? 0.7996 is lower than 1.20. So out of these two substances, silver is going to corrode first before uh, platinum. And that is the answer. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, yeah, let's just keep learning. And... Yeah, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. And I hope you're doing well out there. Keep studying hard. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.